number one goal here is education first. So we need guys one who will qualify. So we all know the sliding scale, the two, three, two, three, three requirement. But uh, if you're not going to get it done in the classroom, that's a direct reflection of getting it done on the field. So we look at intangibles, academics, injury history, character, we look at leadership, if they're a winner, and those are all things we evaluate. So we want to know what type of man we're going to bring in this program. And academics definitely, definitely uh, reflects on that. If the guy's a winner, he'll probably win in the classroom too. That's academically, that's socially, that's athletically, that's emotionally and spiritually. They knew who they were, and they knew what they wanted, and they weren't afraid of the challenge, and they ran hand first into it. Those are the guys we want, and those are the guys we're looking for. Are they talented? Yes. But they have a lot more to them than just that. We will recruit locally, but we recruit nationally. Like I was telling someone else earlier, we recruit internationally as well. I mean, we, have, we have guys from Canada, we have guys from the Netherlands, we have guys from Denmark, we have a guy from Finland. I mean, we, we will find the best athlete who fits who we are, who fits our culture, who fits our scheme. If that's here in Michigan, then we find it. If that's in Ohio, or that's New York, or that's California, or that's even in uh, Finland, we'll find it. And then we go and we get it. Everybody's got Twitter, you know, everyone has social media, everyone has a cell phone, everyone, everyone has email, you know, so it's a matter of finding that and reaching out and just, this is who I am, this is what is important to me, this is why I'm interested in your school, and you tell them that, and you give them reason why they should contact you back. guys because of what they post, we drop guys because of what they retreat. We we drop guys for what they say. Because if you're willing to do it behind a, a phone screen, you know the drop of a dime, just there's no filter or there's no conscience behind it, then can we trust you to, to, to represent the program in the right way? That's one of the things we evaluate. Evaluate social media. So uh, quickly uh, can very, very uh, uh, quickly impact through the various original. Just because it's not your original tweet doesn't mean that you're not putting your name on it. If you retweet it, you're you're holding you have you're accountable for that. That's, that's on your social media. That's you. I don't care if it was a retweet or a like or whatever. And you look at all that stuff. We're not the only ones that do it. It's just it's always a reflection of you. And you know at the end of the day and everything you do um, you know, look at it like this, you're putting your autograph on it. So that goes from your set of squats when you're tired, it goes from the capital test you just had, it goes from making the decision whether or not to hit favorite or whether or not to hit reach week. You put your autograph on it, and at the end of the day, are you going to be okay with people seeing that? That's you. Um, and it goes back to just that decision. Well, all of us, they make the first game through athletes. And coming to college is a big transition from high school to college. So, if kids have problems with school work, like how like the tutor and So, we've got uh, SAS, which is uh, student, at student Athlete Support Services. So, Cam and Eric, uh, the director, the associate director. Uh, we look for winners. We look for guys who know who they are. 